what's up y'all it's your boy Raj man man uh I'm doing this video because I get this question a lot okay so we're gonna do a little bit of a story time a little bit man so um a lot of people want to know why I stopped doing YouTube and why I stopped doing videos why me and little bro gave this shit up so um this question that surfaced around for the longest man why has dread got and little bro stopped doing videos um to be completely honest with y'all i was getting harassed by the police man um they broke in my house arrested me took me to jail and that's pretty much why so if you see like my old videos and y'all know like y'all ogs bro y'all would know that I had plenty of videos where they harassed me. So let's get that straight. <laughs> um, one day I was sitting upstairs, man. Um, it was about 3 a.m. 3, 3 o'clock, yeah, 3, 3 a.m. I was asleep. Um, it was plotting, plotting, and plotting around the house, like looking and looking, looking at everything I was doing all day. Uh, so I heard a big boom. And mind you, I had dreams about this shit. Like I. I kind of knew that they was they was gonna do that for some for some reason in my head. Like, so when I woke up out of my sleep, I knew it was going on. I knew it was them. So I'm upstairs. They meet me at the top of the steps. When I, cause I got up, I was at the top of the steps, about to walk down the steps, and they was like, "Put your fucking hands up." You know how the cops do, like. But they it was it was SWAT. Like they had masks on big ass fucking guns looking at me and shit I'm like what the fuck so I'm in my head I'm like man alright this shit's about to go down so I had my phone in my hand but when I alright so when they broke in I tried to hurry up and pick up my phone because I remember when I was when they did that shit I was on I fell asleep on the phone with somebody but when I got up my phone was dead so I'm like fuck my phone's dead I can't tell nobody I'm getting fucking locked up now um <laughs> uh so I just put my hands up, I had my phone in my hand, my right hand. They said, um, that's your phone? Give me your phone. Come downstairs with your phone in your hand. So I walk downstairs. I'm like, oh shit, this shit's going down. I go downstairs, I see my mom, everybody down there and shit. Um not looking good. I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. Uh shit, they started uh zip tying everybody. It had people zip tied, my brother and my sisters, minors, bro. It was crazy. This shit's a big ass lawsuit. Um so, uh, I was just keeping it calm, man. I had nothing to hide, bro. It was just like, I don't know what y'all here for. I don't care. And I just want to get this shit over with. But I had a warrant for not showing up to court for like a traffic ticket or some shit anyway. So, um, I just was like, fuck it. It took me downstairs, um, uh, zip tied me. They had my little brother zip tied, which was a minor at the time. He still is. Um, he started throwing up in the fucking sink like they was like what the fuck did you give him what did you I'm like bro I didn't give him nothing he's nervous y'all got him zip tied and y'all got his brother questioning him about some some shit that I don't know nothing about so um it's just like like a long story short bro these cops have been harassing me ever since I started YouTube bro like this shit comes with a lot like the fame um the money, all that shit comes with all of this shit. So, this is the shit they don't want you, they don't want me to say. But anyway, uh, so I'm looking, I'm, I'm just like going with the flow. They searching the house, they flipping shit around. Um, they grab my YouTube plaque. They grab my YouTube plaque right there. And it was like, wow, 100,000 subscribers? <laughs> We're one of them. I looked at this asshole, I said, what the fuck? You're one of them, huh? Okay. All right. So I'm sitting on the couch. Hard time. They, they're, bro, they're searching the house for like hours, bro. They're trying to find anything they can find in the house. So um, they got the dogs going through the house. They got the dogs outside of the house. So I'm trying not to like, you know, panic or nothing. I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to jail anyway. I got a warrant. So, you know. They take me in my mom's room, and they ask me a bunch of questions. They sit me down, you know, and then it's, it's just like, you know what? At this point, I just want to get this shit over with. So, 
I'm looking at the doors, they're broke. The front door's broke, the back door's broke. It's like, what the fuck? Like, this is shit, it's some movie shit. Like, I'm like, damn, this is what fame comes with? Like, this is what this shit comes what the fuck? They take me outside, right? I'm, I've been in the house for hours, okay? They're searching the house. I've been in the house for hours. I don't know why they didn't take me out yet, but they took me outside. I see detectives all in the driveway, um, down the street, SWAT. Bro, the whole street was filled with police, like, period. Like, the whole shit, bro, it was crazy. You would think I would fucking kill somebody. So, I'm like, damn, they took me to the police station. I had money laying next to me when I was asleep, so I just told my mom. Because by the time, it was like, it was like 3 o'clock when they broke in. By the time I got to the police station, it was about 7 in the morning. So, I told my mom, I called my mom when I got to the police station. I said, just let my siblings, you know, stay home from school. Because I know that's kind of traumatizing before you go to school. It's like, you know, our, our house just got broken in 3 in the morning. What the fuck? I'm going to school after that? Hell no. I just told him, take that money that I got. Get them some breakfast. Do whatever you got to do with that money. I'll be out. I'm good. Um, I went to the police station. I go into the interrogation room. And um, they're asking me about some shit that had nothing to do with me. Um, robbery and a shooting. Um, which I don't know nothing about. I had no idea about this shit. I did not shoot nobody. I did not rob nobody. I did none of that. So I'm just in there confused as hell. Um, it was asking me a bunch of questions, and I'm like, you know what? At this point, I don't even want to talk because this shit doesn't make sense. I just want to know what I was there for. <laughs> That's the only reason why I went in that interrogation room because I could have declined that. I need a lawyer. Boom, boom, boom. You know how I go. Um, but. I just want to know what the fuck I was there for. Like, I was so eager to know. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what, what? Why the fuck are SWAT going all down the street? Police, detectives, and everything. So, um, I was kind of hungry. You know, they tried to give me, like, some food and shit. I guess to make me rap. Like, get, get, get me to talk or some shit. Like, they tried to get me to talk. Like, I'm like, bro, I, it's nothing to rattle because I didn't do shit, for one. Um... And if you're going to take me to jail, just take me to jail because I have a warrant anyway. So, um, you know, I get in the hole and cell at the police station. And um, they bring me my food. And I just looked at that shit and I'm like, fuck that. I don't want that. Like, <laughs> fuck. They gave me a burger and fries. Like, like, what the fuck is that supposed to do? Make me talk. Anyway, uh, so, you know. Um, uh, after like hours of sitting in the fucking holding cell, I finally, I'm finally on my way to jail, bro. I'm finally like, I'm finally in the back of the cop car and shit. Like I'm on my way, like early in the morning. So I sat in jail for like two weeks. Um, I finally go to court. I get in this, this van with a bunch of other people that's going to court. So they got to take you in the van. They got to shackle your legs, put the cuffs on you and shit, take you over there. Um... I seen a bunch of people I knew. This shit was this shit was like a like a dream to me because I'm like I'm being locked up and I didn't even do shit. This is crazy, bro. So when I got to court, the judge was like, bro, you mean to tell me they broke in your house? They had no evidence whatsoever. They zip tied minors. They broke in your your sister's room, which was a minor at the time, and they had no evidence, and you're here. Judge told the prosecutor, she said, I am embarrassed. Why is this man even here? And he's so young. Um, she let me go. So, I mean, if everybody has that question of why I stopped doing YouTube, why I stopped, bro, it's because the police harassed me. Um, it's a lot of negative energy in this this YouTube world or fuck YouTube period. Just just having the fame period, bro. It's just like it's a lot of negative stuff. And um, I just got tired of the police, bro. I just got tired of my life just being broadcasted on YouTube and people just being able to have access to my life so easily. It's just you know, 
it's a tough it's a tough thing man and I decided not to let that stop me from doing what I actually love because I actually love making content for y'all bro and um yeah I got let out two weeks later my mom was in court I looked back at my mom who was in the courtroom when I had to go to court and like my shit was on the line and it was like uh, you could either go or you can stay my mom came there my brother came and um they was, they was kind of like part of the reason why I actually got out because I had that support with me. I had evidence. I had a bunch of shit with me. So when I got out, I just was like, I, I thank God. And I was, I was, I was appreciative of being able to see the daylight again, man. Like I, I, every, everything that I did and everything that I've been through, bro, um, it's tough it's tough like it's, it's tough bro and it's this shit is not for the weak you want to do something don't let nothing stop you man especially if you know that you're innocent and you're not doing nothing let these people talk they shit um i'm not gonna let this shit stop me i'm gonna keep doing videos i'm gonna keep doing what i want to do and i appreciate the people support me man thank y'all appreciate y'all for showing love to the tiktok man we lit um, I go live on there all the time. Um, just thank y'all for showing that love. Thank you for the OGs, man, that been here. Thank you for the people that's new. Thank you for everybody, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, we will not let this stop us. We will keep going. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to fucking do this. Documentary Part 3 coming out soon. I love y'all. Um, this was like a little quick short, story, uh, quick short story time. So... We're going to do a lot more of these. Trust me. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. If y'all got questions, ask them. Don't be afraid to ask them, man. Raj, when we back. New channel, Raj, when? Yes, sir. Let's get to a million fucking subscribers ASAP.